Good morning, movers, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, your beginner workout today is gonna to be a combination of strength and cardio. I'm gonna do that fun format where we take one exercise, we repeat it for three rounds at 30 seconds per exercise, rest for 10 seconds in between, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. So you have a little chance to progressively overload if you'd like. Okay, you can lift really light. I'll have the weight amounts that I use listed at the top of the screen after each exercise. So that can give you an indicator of where you can start. Okay, but always lift within your own abilities and always start light. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. I'm also gonna use something to sit on. Make sure you have a stable bench or chair. We'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. All right, are you ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. Okay, I think I'll put functional training on my watch. Combination of cardio and strength. Let's warm things up, hinge forward here, and let's just get one arm circle going. Okay, nice little circle to get that ball and socket warmed up. And switch directions. Switch your side. Switch directions. Very good, let's keep those knees soft and we're gonna hinge forward and back. Just gently pushing those hips forward, stretching that lower back, that's it. Warming up the glutes a bit. One more here. Good, hands are out. Let's put one hand behind the back, one behind the head. Alternate here. Okay, stick the chest out. Again, just working on our rotation and range of motion in the shoulders. Which I don't have really great on my right side, I'll tell you. Gotta work on that. Two more here. Good, high reach. We'll just increase the blood flow a little bit. High and low reach. One more here, up, up. All right, let's do that open door. You could hold on to something for balance if you'd like. Lift the leg up, lift it out, lift it in and down. Good, we'll do five a leg. Now we're working on the ball and socket in the hip. Last one here. And switch your side. Up, open, in and down. Last one here. Go into some heel digs. Knee is soft, toe is up, and we're hinging forward. Little sweep toward the ground. Stretching that Achilles and your hamstring a bit. Good, let's take it a little wider. Reach low and then up to the tiptoes. We'll warm up those Achilles, the Achilles there and the calves a bit. Okay, if you can't squat, just do the arm actions here with the tiptoe. All right, a few more. Last one here. And stay wide in that stance, hand to toe tap. If you can't touch your toe, you're down to the shin or knee. Very 
Good, and let's finish off with this torso turn. Draw that elbow across the body. Very nice, okay. There's the first exercise. Remember, three times, then we'll move on to the next, and I'll alternate between that cardio and strength. All right, starting with your side shuffle, we're gonna get low with a punch and a tap on each side. Okay, try to get nice and low. Here we go, so one, two, one, two, and tap. That's it. Activating those glute muscles here. But of course, you can stay tall if that hurts the knees. All right. And tap right here. Of course, you can rest in between. If you don't need the rest, you can tap or boxer shuffle. Round two. And tap. Last one, then moving into strength. And moving into our strength, I'm gonna go with threes for my front lateral combo. One to the side, one to the front, shoulders back. And we pop and switch. Okay, shoulders low away from the ears. And your torso is facing me the entire time. Don't turn. Little chance to bring the heart rate down now. Little rest. Again, feel free to switch your weights in between. Lift within your abilities here. Knees are soft. And lift up. I switched to the fives, but you do what works best for you. Stick the chest out. Those shoulders back in between. You've got one more round here. Okay, shoulders away from the ears, core engaged, and pop. Setting those weights down, we're gonna move into three versions of high knee. Single, double, then triple, starting with your single. Nice and tall. Singles here.
a little rest. Doubles now. Two knees each side. And one, two, switch, one, two. And tap now into our triple high knee. Three per leg. Get those arms involved to kick up the heart rate. And three, two, one, switch here. I'll hold light weights, my threes, for the plie bicep serve. Stick with the serve if you can't plie, otherwise nice and wide. Drop it low and there. All right, shoulders are away from the ears again. And we're pressing out. You're not throwing the dumbbells out. You're just pressing, all right, straightening the arms to flex. That's it. Now. If you're fatiguing, you can eliminate the legs for a second. Just hit arms or eliminate the arms and just hit legs. Nice, a little rest. Round two and drop. You can always take one of these three circuits and use it as additional rest if you wish. Right? We're giving minimal rest in this one just to keep heart rates elevated and get that cardiorespiratory system working today as well. Good. One more here. And down. Set those weights down. Back to your cardio. We're gonna do a grapevine. Step behind, elbow to knee, side to side. So one, two, three, and knee. Go your pace. If the step behind is too tri tricky or it's tripping you up, just do a side shuffle. Okay, instead, that's fine. Good, and rest. Round two. One, two, three, and knee. And tap, last one here.
You've got a water break coming up. All right, just a short one. Take a sip, pause if you need a longer rest. All right. I'm gonna start with my bench. You can use a stable chair. Holding five pound dumbbells, we're gonna do a sit squat, single side shoulder press. Now, you can eliminate the squat and just do a standing alternating shoulder press or eliminate the press and just hit the squat. Okay, again, I'm holding five pound dumbbells. Feet are shoulder width apart. You're nice and tall and pushing through a flat foot or heel. So you're up and press with the right, up and press with the left. Of course, you could press both at the same time for an increase in heart rate and uh, in that movement there, but up to you. I want you to think of reaching your hips back and not plopping on that chair. Okay, reach, control the down, and sit gentle. Good, okay, rest. <laughs> Just hang out here for a second. Round two, straight up and down. Push, press. A really important consideration is to try to do your sit-stand squats without putting your hands on your legs. Okay, so many people put their hands on their knees to try and stand up. We want to engage the core, have a nice strong back, strong glutes, and be able to do it without that assistance. Nice little rest. One more here. Okay, feet are that shoulder width apart. Super tall. Set those weights down, now we'll move into our butt kicks three ways. Single, double, and then single, double combo. Here we go. And your singles right here. Wanting to kick the heart rate up now, let's work. Tap it here, okay. Doubles, two per leg, one, two, and switch. Pick it up if you want with a jump in between. One, two, one, two. Punching over the chest, don't shrug your shoulders. Okay, now we'll single, single, and double. Alternating that side. Kick it up, and you're single. Single, double here. Single, single, double here. And double. And double. Nice, grabbing a 10 pound dumbbell for my bent over row. I want you to hinge forward on anything you can. Make sure your back is flat. And we'll draw the elbow to the ceiling here. Up, so nice flat back. Of course, if you had a bench, you could put the knee on here as well. Right, super flat. We're gonna stay on the same side for a full 30 here. 
As you see on the screen, I've got four rounds. Too quick to switch here, so we'll just stay with it. A few more. Very nice. Now switching sides. Again, a full hinge here, or knee on the bench, leg out and back. Back is flat. And we draw. Good. Think about like you're pulling that dumbbell through mud and straight up to the ceiling with that elbow. And you're a little bit between the chest and the hip. Switching sides, one more each side now. Okay, back flat. Here we go, and we draw. Think of retracting that shoulder blade at the top. And last switch, then into cardio again. Neutral neck, and we pull. So I'm just looking right down at the ground below me. Okay, I'm not looking up. I want a neutral neck. Everything aligned in your spine here. Into your cardio, we've got two jabs, two jacks. So jab, jab, jack, jack. Three rounds and one, two, jack, two. And tap right here. Round two. And tap. Last one here. We're going into that cross body curl or pinwheel curl, alpha tens, low shoulders, you're crossing the dumbbell up to the ceiling. Here we go. Palms are facing the ceiling. You're not twisting the torso, but you're thinking of flexing that bicep at the top of the contraction there. Nice. A rest. If you set the dumbbells down, you only have about 
five seconds to rest. <laughs> Just hold maybe. Here we go. Round two. One more, keep the shoulders back. Okay, sometimes we shrug or lean forward and the weight is in the front. Stick your chest out and we curl right here. Good. Move into that heel dig three ways. Okay, we're gonna start with that heel dig with the front press right there. You're here. Let's go. And tap. We'll add a side press here now. One front, one side. Let's work your here and press. Stick your chest out. Okay, round three, you can eliminate the arms if you need the rest there. We'll do a front, a side, and an overhead. All three, let's go here, and side, and up. Front, side, up. Very nice. Okay, a little water rest. Pause the video if you need a longer break. And there's the first exercise of the next circuit. I'll start with a tricep press overhead extension. So you can do this on the bench or the floor. Palms are facing each other. We'll press to the ceiling, back of the elbow, ceiling and down. Give you a little bit of time to get into position here. Okay, palms face each other, flat on your back on the ground or bench, and press it up, back of the elbow, up and down. I'm holding eights here. Of course, you could do twos, threes, fives, whatever you can overhead tricep press will be the weight you choose. Nice focus on chest and triceps here. Very nice. Okay, a little break. Just rest those dumbbells down. <sighs> Round two. Here we go. And we press. Now, on your tricep extension, only the elbow joint is moving. You're not migrating that shoulder back. Not in this version, okay? We're very stationary. Just allowing those tricep muscles to work alone there. Wrists are locked and neutral. 
Please don't adjust over your face though. Okay, you can adjust to make sure that wrist is locked. Last round here. And push up, back, up, and down. Okay, up for your cardio. Please take a little longer if you're dizzy. Okay, we were upside down there. Front kick, back kick. Join when you can. You're here. And back. Tap, round two, shake those arms. Last one. Very nice, moving into your single double Arnold press. Twos, threes, or fives maybe. Starting here, singles first, and we turn and press to the ceiling, other side. Now together, good. Now I'm pressing slightly in front, just to make sure that my shoulders aren't crunching. I'll show you a side view. So slightly in front of that plane, that lateral plane. Good, I want to not look up at my dumbbells. They look straight ahead, and I'm keeping my elbows up as well. Nice, roll those shoulders. All right, round two, knees are soft. Engage the core. Starting position here, and we press up. Other side, now together. One more round, folks. Almost there. Doing well, everyone. Okay, stay strong and work. Single, single, and double. Don't hold your breath. Moving into our last cardio exercise to kick things up. Two knees, two frogs. Stick with the knees if you need. Otherwise, let's work. One, two, drop it low. You're dropping those glutes into that low squat position. Not just bending at the back, but again, 
here if you can't squat. And tap two more. Let's let that heart rate increase here a little bit. One, two. You do need quite a wide stance for that frog squat. Tap. One more. Almost there. Two knees. Let's work. One, two, four. Last 10 seconds. Stay with me, stay in the pocket. In three, two, one and done. You've moved daily in your total body. Ab, cardio workout, free session, join for stretch if you can. Let's take it to the ground for a stretch. Yes, I'm in different clothes. I forgot to film the cool down for this workout when I did it, because I think the phone rang or something. <laughs> So I'm back after another workout and just cooling down with you here. But that's important. Lengthening those muscles back out is crucial. Switch sides here, nice and tall and hinge forward at the waist. I'm sure you had a good workout. You're here at the end, which means you did it, <laughs> which is awesome. Hey, you know, I go at my pace and my cadence when I'm doing these workouts. Of course, we always encourage you to go at your own as well. And everyone's at different fitness levels. This is kind of like general fitness, right? For a general audience. Um, and so it's important to start your lifting journey really light so that you can show up again tomorrow. It is always, always, always the goal. Uh, I've trained so many people, thousands over my career as a personal trainer. And I remember being in the gym and see, I think, I mean, I even did things wrong when I was a newbie trainer, but I remember seeing this guy train this older lady and he was having her just do crazy things. <laughs> I'm like, she is not going to be able to walk tomorrow. And uh, I don't recall ever seeing that lady in the gym again, but right. That's what happens. Sometimes we, we go to trainers or we'll go you know, to classes and we think we have that capacity right then. But you have to remember if you're back in the game, if you're new to the game or you're just getting back in it after a hiatus of not working out, it's really important that you start super light. Let's just twist here, drop the shoulders. Uh, because you might be used to lifting something over your head once or twice, but are you used to lifting, lifting it 12 times, right? Times two or three sets. No, you're not. And so those muscles, while you can do it in the moment, you know, they're not accustomed to doing it. So starting light, starting slow is really the best scenario if you want to stay in the game and if you want to be able to show up again tomorrow. That's always the goal. Reach back behind you. Let's stick the chest out. I'm just going to let my head fall back here. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And I'll see you in the next workout. Make sure you go have something with protein, okay, to replace those used stores and to help your body and your muscle repair and rebuild. All right, see ya.